What's going on, YouTube? I'm your guy. And her guy. <laughs> Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on this channel. We talk about fragrances and fashion. And I have with me today... Um, your girl and his girl. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mrs. Bowtie. <laughs> That's right. On this channel, we talk about fragrances and fashion. And guys, if you've never uh, seen this segment of the, of the show before or on this channel, what I do is I do a list and what I like to do is get the female uh, perspective on this list. So I like to bring in Miss Bowtie. So you'll be able to kind of look at how I ranked fragrances. Well, I didn't really rank these fragrances. These were just 10 of the best smelling fragrances I've ever smelled. So mm -hmm. these are some of my favorites. So it's going to be interesting to see how she rates these fragrances because generally speaking, right. <laughs> my genre of fragrance that I usually like is not necessarily her favorite, right? Yeah, I would agree. You know, it's a, a couple of crowd favorites of yours that I absolutely love, but I know your type of fragrances, right. and a lot of times they're a little more masculine. Um, I like the sweet and, stuff And that's too, great, and sweet eyes. sometimes. <laughs> he loves that sweet stuff, so yes. yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I don't know anything about what's on the list. I did not see it. He made sure he hid them from me. Yep. So I'm and excited. Down here, Let's get it going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, also, guys, if this is your first time, visiting the channel or if you've been coming back and you just haven't for some reason hit the subscribe button yet please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon as well to get notified anytime a uh, video is uploaded on the channel okay so this is how we do this is how we rock if you want to know how miss bowtie is going to rate my top 10 fragrances that i've ever smelled in my life so this should be fun we'll see. then what we're going to see about that. Keep it live right <laughs> here. <laughs> That's right. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this video again. If you uh, for if you need a quick reminder what this video is about today, I did a video about a week ago, which I'll link in the description, mm -hmm. called 10 of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. So these may not necessarily be my favorite fragrances, but what they are, are just when I smell them, the scent DNA by itself, 10 of the best I've ever smelled. Okay. So that's what's on the list. And I also want to mention again, I did a video uh, that I released uh, on yesterday, as a matter of fact, and I talked to you guys and told you guys I'm coming out with my own two fragrances. So you excited about that? Oh my god! <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Um, and I'm just oh, I'm not even going to talk no more. But <laughs> I, I cannot wait. So of course, when we get when those fragrances hit the market, of course, Miss Bowties will be giving her yeah. impressions on those fragrances so that, that's going to be fun man um it was a lot of work but yeah. um hard work always pays off always. all right so anyway man with that being said let's go ahead and jump into these fragrances miss bowtie she has no clue what's on this list if you could turn around i'm gonna get me a blindfold i think y'all what y'all think yep all right, all right. so go. let me show uh them what i have the, this was the first one and these are not in any particular order but this is the first fragrance that i'm well one of the fragrances that i mentioned that day so i'm going to spray it and once i spray it then she can and I hand her the test strip, then she'll be able to turn around and uh, give me her take on it. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yep. Here you go. Bottle hidden. Yep. Okay. Very much so. All right. I'm gonna try not to give it away with my eyes now. They say I give it away with my eyes. <laughs> I'm just gonna be me. I cannot control my eyes. Do your thing. Okay. You want me to rate it? Yeah. We gotta get a winner. I like this a lot. So of my fragrance, these are the best fragrances bow tie fragrance guys ever smell. So I'm gonna see, of course, we're gonna be able to see which one of these. This she is a nine. Sorry. Good deal. I'm moving quick today, okay. All right. Now the fragrance that I smell. Oh, yeah. I actually, you know what? I did have them. Well, I said this was the best. I didn't have them in order, but I said this was the best fragrance I've ever smelled. Really? And the fragrance is this right here from By Killian. It's called Angel Share. Y'all, it's just something about those Killian fragrances. Yeah, Killian. I yeah, mean, 
I don't. It doesn't smell like straight to heaven. No. Nope. But it was something about oh, it so that good. just. Jeez, that's, wow, that's I didn't even know about this one. That, that's got praline in it. Praline is like a synthetic sweet note, kind of smells like kind of like cake or something like mm -hmm. that. Then it has cinnamon. Uh, cedar wood, like it's been aging in oak barrels, rum, that kind of stuff. So that's a good one. Ooh, that's so good. Good okay. description, right? Very good. Guys, if you, uh, I always talk about setting the mood, man. We got our, our little uh, apple juice right here. <laughs> and we also have uh, this candle going, man. This time for a candle. So that's, that's so dope. Uh, I like to set the mood when Dang. I talk about fragrances Dang. because I love fragrances and this makes it even better. Oh man, patchouli. Yeah, patchouli. That's a nice okay. smell. All right, so Miss Bowtie, if you could turn around, right, please. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. I'm just pulling these out, guys. These are in no particular order. And uh, at the end of this thing, we'll have a winner, and uh, we'll see what uh, which one comes in the in first place based on your nose. Here you go. All right. Based on my nose. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. Are you laughing at me? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. People don't talk about me. Y'all don't talk about me. Don't talk. We're going to start crying you down like Giannis. <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh man, that's what's your score? A nine and a half. Nine and a half, nine and a half. <laughs> what is that? I got y'all think see, they think that I don't know what I'm talking about. So what is it? I'm sure, y'all. This is called Herba Pure. Oh, that's a pretty bottle. Yeah, but except for when it came, it was leaking, so it's kinda jacked up over here but yeah but so this is herbal pura from jerjoff it is fruits Ooh, wait. and sweetness mm. that's just it just smells great period point blank in the discussion that thing smells fantastic and i love that bottle all right so let's keep it moving we know we have a, a running clock you know i want to <laughs> give a seven if you can give me a seven next it is, it, yeah, oh you it's, know what it's your world. i had an idea we shouldn't do sevens just like somebody else we know I think that's fair, because when you don't know what to rate something, you just default to seven, right? That if you if you want to use that rating scale, it's you. So I don't think we fine. should do sevens. Okay. okay. <laughs> so next, I'm just reaching in and pulling something out. This is what came up next. So let's go ahead and spray this. Let's see. Oh, I'll tell you when you can turn around. Here you go. That's <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> not really. Oh, this is good. Um, mm, I feel like I know this. Oh. How must you do this to me? I am. It is what it is. That 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 was the list. What are we gonna do about tiebreakers? How we Ten, gonna... nine, <laughs> eight, seven, six, five. All right. This is so beautiful. I smell the neroli in it. I believe. So. Oh my lord. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. I was curious to see how you would rate this one. I, I don't know. I don't think the roll is in this, but I think but well, I know something close. Jasmine is in it. Something Jasmine, it smells, sandalwood. Something smells soapy in it, but it's a good, I don't know. It's this right here, reflecting oh, from my wall. Oh, okay. This is just, this is absolutely captivating. Oh, my goodness. I thought you were probably, I, I, I okay, thought you may have rated that one higher, but. Here's the thing. I was going to, I did want to rate it higher, but in my mind, I was thinking about, mm, is it better than what I smell? smell I mean, we're not changing the score, but just smell that again. Sandalwood, white jasmine. It's it has beautiful. Jasmine, I mean, not white jasmine. Jasmine is a white floral. This stuff is gorgeous. Because she loves florals, you I thought know. she might have put that one a little high. You do know now that you let me That stuff is. Smell this. I'm I gonna, would love to smell that I'm one. Gonna steal it's unisex. I'm definitely going to wear it. Oh, my 
God, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's why it's on this list. I mean, I'm not going to be redundant and say this stuff, these fragrances smell good because, again, these were 10 of the best. Oh, that's so good. All yeah. right, so let's keep it moving. Mm. Mm. All right, so what do we have next, guys? We're looking at this one right here. So that is a six, and it, this is her choice. This is her rating. It's this one from Jerjoff. It's called Italica. Now, this, of course, you guys know, is a full-on gourmand, and I know that oh. she sometimes doesn't like gourmand, but this has almond. I uh, smell the almond for sure. Almond, toffee, mm -hmm. uh, tonka bean. This everything. Oh. Uh oh, everything that's sweet in a fragrance is in here, and uh, it's one of my absolute favorites. All right, so really? Zerjoff um, Italica gets a six from his bow tie. All right, we're gonna keep the train moving. I don't want us to go on too. I wanted to go on too long because at 30 minutes this thing cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the next fragrance up. I'm just reaching in randomly and pulling something out. This is a fun game. Oh yeah. I will tell you when you can look. There you go. What do you give it? You know. <laughs> do I ever give anything a 10? I've only given certain things a 10. Mm -hmm. What do you give it? Hmm. Okay, sorry. I almost got lost in the sauce, y'all. I'm gonna give it a, a freaking nine and a half. Nine and a half. She says she knows what this is. I, I will confirm in just a moment. I know. It's very well. This one is from Tom Ford. Lost Jerry. Lost Jerry. <laughs> so we know what you said last time if you want to get lost in, in the, the Oh, I said lost in the sauce. Y'all heard me say that right yep. at first. And now, yeah, lost in the cherry. Similar analogy. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's go to the next one. If you will turn. Oh, my gosh. New bottle of this. Oh, really? So you wear it a lot, huh? Mm. I'll tell you why in a moment. Well, yeah, but. This is not my normal thing. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine what and a half. What is that? This. Talk about it. Is Tom Ford War Extreme? <laughs> and the reason I said I need to get another one is very low. It's down here, but the sprayer's messed up on it. See how oh. it squirts out like that? It's not a. Uh, it get it fell at times. Okay, Tom um, so Ford for the win up. right now, Tom Ford. So that we got a nine and a half on that. Let's keep moving. All right. Good well, deal. Many, are we on number? This is number seven. seven. Yep. Randomly reaching in, pulling things out from that video. Let's see what we got. Are you laughing at me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a 10. 
dog on it. You know what this is? Aventus. <laughs> Am I right? She <laughs> Aventus. She got it. <laughs> Yo, anytime I smell that man. Right, right listen, there. you know, let me tell you, just take a moment. <laughs> just so, she, of course, she's not as into the fragrance community and fragrances as I am. She likes, for, loves fragrances. But, so she wouldn't be as privy to this information, but a lot of people now uh, don't like to talk about this fragrance as much anymore because it's been, it's so good, it's the popularity of it mm -hmm. spawned a lot of clones. So mm -hmm. a, a lot of different fragrance companies took the time to say, okay, I, I want a fragrance that smells just like that. So because it's so good and so many people talk about it, not as many people in the fragrance community like to talk about this fragrance anymore, but I always tell them, I can care less. This is always gonna be one of my favorite fragrances. And I gotta hold on to this batch. It's the 17N01. You can see the batch number right there. Mm -hmm. You can tell by that last, the last three digits, 17N01. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is a um, one of the best fragrances still I've ever smelled. That's why it's on this list. All right, let's keep it moving. Oh, that was so good. That's I mean, just a quick it took sidebar. Me, that was, I just knew immediately. Well, I didn't actually think about Creed immediately when I smelled it, but I just knew it was a tip. It was good. Yes. Next one. All right, let me. Uh, Coming from the house of. Oh, yeah. I wish I would tell you. <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> Here you go. All right. Um, I give it an eight. I was about to Giannis you just now. No, whatever. Count you down. <laughs> <laughs> so we got an eight on this one. Better for I smell. One of my favorites, of course. It's Black Phantom from By Killian. I that love this favorite. one. Coffee, sugar one cane, rum. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, stuff is just freaking fantastic. Um, fantastic. It is. All right, we got two more left. All right, come on. Two more left. I'm going to reach in here and pull out what we got. All right, we're going to spray it. Wait a minute. There you go. Alright, last time. <laughs> I said no sevens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll give that. I, okay, I'm gonna break my own rule. I'll give it a seven. Okay. <laughs> the reason you were having trouble picking this one up because it's not a super. I was having problems. There are certain fragrances where the test strip. The test strips, first of all, don't do fragrances justice for the most part. With that being said, this fragrance I figured would probably be even worse because <laughs> really it smelled, if this fragrance performed well, this would probably be in everybody's top five, probably because it smells that good. But anyway, it doesn't perform that well, but the fragrance is called 1270 from a company called Frappin. So this has like raisin, okay, cognac, tobacco. I mean, it's just an amazing fragrance scent wise. It doesn't mm. really perform that well. But this fragrance list isn't about performance, it's about what smells great. All right, so we got one more. Um, do I know this one? We'll see. Don't tell me. Come um, on. We'll see. <laughs> Last one. I didn't know 1270. You did all. not. I never even knew that was a thing. All right, so let's give this one a spritz and... There you go. So I'm looking up into the ceiling and stuff. Okay, there it is. All right. 
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know this one. Really? Well, if not, it's something similar. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Just FYI, she, she, it was a fly that snuck into the house uh, earlier, and she sprayed it with some stuff, and he is dying, <laughs> and he is screaming out for help, and we're not going to help him. And he's going to die a nice, slow death. death. Long death. Okay. <laughs> um, this actually is really nice. I'm going to give this a nine. Okay. And I think I know what that is, but I don't know the name, but I think I've smelled it before. This one is from the House of Performance of Marley. It's called Wajan. Mm hmm um, I always say when I spray this, it smells like apple pie. I was gonna say I smelled the apple. Yeah. Um, but something else in it that, stuff is fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. I, it is especially. I can't do a, a a list or one of these videos where I spray everything on skin, but of course you know I know you guys know on skin. We got kids. These are though. even ten times better. We might have. We to don't start. have ten kids. No, we don't. <laughs> so. so we <laughs> but anyway. Um, so guys, although we had a lot, several fragrances that had very high scores, let me call out the honorable mentions that the nine and a half, we had Herba Pura, uh, it had a nine and a half, we had Lost Cherry, that had a nine and a half, we had Noir Extreme, that had a nine and a half, and Angel Share had a nine. But the winner of today's it's challenge, and Wajan had a nine, the winner... Creed Avengers. You're just going to, yeah. Anytime. Maybe I'll, ex well, I'll just go so, off the list that I did, so. Yeah, but if we had to just put Creed out of the picture and I had to choose a winner between my nine and a half. That's, that would be interesting. And I would be? choose, I, I just smelled the dry, yes, I just smelled the dry down on this. So this would be second. And it's beautiful. Oh my God. Told you God. it's good. And it's I good. can wear it. Well, it's a little bit. It's you a, can wear this. I could, but it's you got could. something in it that's it got a little. It is so good. Jesus and I'm not Christ. smelling it like, ooh, just let me say something real quick. Let me address something. When I'm rating, I'm just rating strictly on what smells good. And I don't right. know if I'm going to like it on me because I know some people ask that question. I do wear a lot of his stuff that I can't wear, but this is just strictly off of the scent profile. Beautiful. So that would be the winner if there was no Creed involved. Okay, so take that uh, for what it is if there were no Creed Aventus, which <laughs> I guess sometimes that's kind of cheating if you put that on a list, but it is what it is. The, the list so was what it was. So if we were to exclude Creed Aventus, the winner, the winner would be Herba Pura from Zerjoff. So as always, this was fun. It always is. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bowtie, for uh, your You're time and uh, evaluating and rating these fragrances. It was fun as always. Again, the winner of today's challenge uh, was Creed Aventus. If we took Creed Aventus off the list, it would be Herba Pura from the House of Jared Dog. As always, we appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world. But just took a few moments to watch, and we don't take that for granted. We sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find myself and Ms. Bowtie entertaining because I'm your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I'm your girl, Mrs. Bowtie. We love to look good and we love to smell absolutely amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.